what actually is a spectator, Ian? A spectator at a football game is someone who watches and does not take part in the game. So a spectator, Ian, is an Ian which, firstly, does not take part in the action. Number two, can be found on both sides of the chemical equation. And the third point, we must make sure that the ion is in the same state of matter on both sides of the equation. They have to be found in the aqueous state. From the previous video, we looked at the three different word equations that we have to know. We've got an oxide base, a hydroxide base and a carbonate base. When they react with acids, they will always produce salt plus water, but the carbonate base also produces a third product, which is our carbon dioxide gas. So for us to be able to identify the spectator ion in this equation, we are going to read the equation backwards. We know that the ion, the spectator ion, must be found on both sides of the equation and it must be in the aqueous state. The reason being is aqueous means it's in solution and the word solution ends in ion. So working from the product side, water is in the liquid state, so it will not contain ions. The salt potassium sulfate is in the aqueous state. So if we look at the K positive, we've got that on the product side and we also have that on the reactant side. That's an example of a spectator ion. The sulfate ion, which is found on the product side, that's our SO42 minus, is in the aqueous state. And on the left hand side, we can see that we have an SO42 minus in the aqueous state on the reactant side. So the spectator ions in this example are K positive, which is our potassium ion, and our SO42 minus which is our sulfate ion. So in this example, we have calcium hydroxide reacting with sulfuric acid to produce calcium sulfate plus water. We're going to change this into the ionic equation. And again, to identify the spectator ion, we're going to read the equation backwards. Water is in the liquid state, so therefore we have no ions present. And if we look at the salt, calcium sulfate, we can see it's in the aqueous solution, Remember, the word solution ends in ions, so therefore we have ions present. Calcium is our Ca2+. We can see that on the product side. And we can also see on the reactant side, we also have a Ca2+. Calcium is an example of a spectator ion. The sulfate of the calcium sulfate, that's our salt, is in the aqueous solution. And we can also see that the sulfate ion is found on the reactant side. That's our SO42 minus, which can be found in our sulfuric acid. So the two spectator ions are our calcium 2 plus ion and our sulfate ion, which is our SO42 minus ion. This last example, we are going to be using a carbonate base. So when we react aluminium carbonate with nitric acid, we produce aluminium nitrate water and carbon dioxide gas. What we can see is in this equation we are wanting to identify the spectator ion. So that means again that the ion has to be found on both sides of the equation. Carbon dioxide is in the gaseous state which means there are no ions. Water is in the liquid state so again there are no ions present in this particular equation. Aluminium nitrate is in the aqueous solution. The word solution ends in ion. If we look at the aluminium 3 plus ion, we're looking for aluminium 3 plus on the left hand side. We do have an aluminium 3 plus found in the aluminium carbonate. However, that is in the solid state, so it is not an ion on both sides of the equation. The nitrate of the aluminium nitrate, that's our salt, is in the aqueous solution, that's our NO3 minus. And when we look at our nitric acid in this equation, we also have the NO3 minus in the aqueous solution. 
So for this example, we only have one spectator ion, which is our nitrate ion. <laughs> past paper questions from the National 5 2019 multiple choice 25. Which of the following ions are spectator ions in this reaction? So if we read the question backwards, we know that for it to be an ion, it has to be in solution. So we first look at the state symbols. The silver bromide is in the solid state. There are no ions present in the solid state. We then look at the sodium nitrate. We can see that they are in the aqueous solution. So we want to identify to see if they are both found on the left and right hand side of the page. The sodium ion, that's our Na plus ion, is found on both the left and right hand side of the equation in the aqueous state. And our nitrate, which is our NO3 minus, is also found on both sides of the equation. So the correct answer to this is multiple choice answer B. This past paper question is from the National 5 2017 multiple choice 6. Which of the following are spectator ions in this reaction? Again, we're going to read the question backwards. We are looking for an ion, so therefore it has to be in solution. The word solution ends in ion. If we're reading this backwards, we can see that the potassium nitrate is in the aqueous state. We have a K positive ion, which is found in both sides of the equation. And we've got a nitrate ion, which is found on both sides of the equation. So the correct answer to this is multiple choice answer B. This past paper question is from the National 5 2015 multiple choice 18. Sodium sulfate solution reacts with barium chloride solution. The spectator ions present in the reaction are, again, we look at our product side, we look for the aqueous solution. That's our Na positive Cl minus. So the correct answer to this is multiple choice answer A.